Hello, Sting P back again and today I'm going to talk about a thing what's about to happen in under a week's time up with this day. Yes, I stay in Scotland so of course I'm going to be talking about the referendum. Now, I recently made a, vlog, uh, made a video half a year ago based on the independence, it was more the uh, identity of Scotland, it was my great unit for college, we have a link down below for that, but that was not my full, it wasn't my full opinion, it was a sort of my opinion, uh, I was like, making the whole speak, but I had to be a little bit unbiased towards it, whereas this is a vlog all about it, so I can be as biased as I want. Now there's two choices in this, there is, well there's two, I would say there's, there's two or three, different things, there's the better to mo uh, better together uh, thing, there's the no thank you thing, or from that, and then there's the yes campaign. Now what I've noticed though is the only one out of the mall that's kept to the colours is the yes campaign. This is one of many stickers you can get in the yes campaign. This one is blue writing with yellow, uh, white, with a white background, the other ones are vice versa. I've got one that's on my window, which the yes, it says yes, with the word yes going to Scotland flag. It's the only campaign that's stuck to the colours of the country they're fighting for. The Better Tomorrow, or Better, Better Together campaign, are going with like a yellow and a red colour. One of which is only on the Union flag. I don't, I can't remember what the, the No Thanks or whatever it's called campaign's going with. But yeah, <laughs> so basically that breaks it down in my thoughts. My thought says yes, we should vote yes for the referendum. I've been, th I've thought this for a while since it was kind of announced that there was going to be a vote for the referendum for Scottish for independence. I was sort, of, I was instantly on board. I'm only been in this country for 21 years. I've been born here, also. I've not seen that. Like since <laughs> saying that, it sounds like I'm an immigrant. I've just appeared in this country. <laughs> I've stayed here for 21 years. I've been in this country all my life. And I've always been quite Scottish, quite almost patriotic. I have a few Scotland flags, I don't post them up, I don't hang them up my walls like. But I have a few kicking about. I've got one from the Millennium and I have the Rampant Ryan. Uh, and la Rampant Ryan, sorry. Everything Scottish, I feel quite proud to be Scottish. Even though I stay in the west of Scotland, what is probably one of the worst parts of Scotland. It's just, it's full of mainly just people who have to any uh, drugs. But it's still my home. I still think that we need a Scot, we need, Scotland kind of needs this independence. I believe this is because, yes, I am from the West of Scotland, and if you watch my, my credit unit video, my, uh, an, uh, an ex mining town's thoughts on Scottish identity, I basically go through it and talk about the whole thoughts of the mining town, thoughts on British, uh, Scottish identity, and that's because Scotland, where I stay, we had a booming, this big booming town full of mining, the whole area was just full of mining and industry, and then the Tories came into power with Margaret Thatcher, and she closed them all down, and nowadays we're in another, uh, we've got Tories in power again, and again, I'm just destroying Scotland. I have to move. I had to move out of my house that I stayed in for nearly 21 years. I, it was the house my mum, my mum walked her ass off for, and eventually died in the house. I had to leave out that house because the Tories decided the bedroom tax had to happen. It had to happen, and it made us. It made me and my dad have to move out of the house because there was one spare bedroom. We couldn't afford to keep it on just being on. I mean, being a student, having been on the job seeker rounds. So I had to move out of that house, the one and only house I knew really as a kid, it was the only house I stayed in. I was basically born there, I was brought home from the hospital and that's where his mum and dad were already staying. And I had to move out of that house and move down, I stayed in the area of Cumberland but I had to move out of it down here. And that's why I'm so, <laughs> I'm so against these Tories in power and I really want Scottish independence because my life has been affected. Because of independence, my my family from years ago got f uh, my family from years ago got affected with my Thatcher front down the pit. Now, me myself has been quite affected by the government, the Eng uh, English government, trying to control Scotland. So I'd like to have independence. So yes, a few people on 
a few people have gave their opinion to this that's been quoted a divorce from some people some people I watch talk about it and I thought I'd just have to share my small opinion on why I have why I feel like this has to happen why I think the yes vote should be happening we should be voting yes it's just a thing <laughs> it just it's just always been me I've always had this Scottish passion about passion about Scotland so it's time for us to be our own country I don't care about the Queen. Now that's a lot of vote. A lot of folk are saying no. Can't we can't vote no. We have, no. We can't vote yes. We have to vote no because we have to keep the Queen, the royal family. These people are stupid. These people, no offence, but these people have not understood the whole aspect of it. We are still. We're not voting to get rid of the royal family. We're keeping the royal family. The royal family does nothing for the country anyway. It only brings in tourists and a little bit of money. That's all they do, they don't make up any rules anymore, it's all government in England. There's also people who think, no, we'll lose their benefits, we'll lose their, and we'll lose our, all their people, we'll lose their pensions, and blah, 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 blah. Because people think there's this pot in England, and ah, uh, in Westminster, and it's, if we vote no, we'll lose the pot. No, what's actually going to happen is, the money we give England, and they give us pennies back, that money is going to stay in Scotland, it's going to go up to... Uh, Hollywood, that imaginary pot, will stay up there and all our money go into it and all our money come back out into the country. It's not a real pot, it's imaginary, as I said, it's not actually there, but that's how what people have to realise that really we have, we are voting to have control of our own money, vote of our own, uh, we have power over our own laws, we get to make our own laws. We don't have to have bedroom tax up here because the England's go a few big cities which needs uh, bedroom taxes. Places like Covenant when I stay, we do not need a bedroom tax. There's not one bedroom flats in Covenant. There's a few now. They're building up a few odd one bedroom flats, but it's not many here. Most of them are two bedrooms or three bedrooms because it's a family area. It's a whole point in this area and that's why people are fighting against it so much about bedroom tax. And that's why, yes, we need to get our own power just to stop Things like the bedroom tax coming up and affecting Scotland and affecting other people. <sighs> Sorry about the wee rant there. But yes, I've been, I feel like, I feel very passionate about we have to vote. But the only thing is, <laughs> and when you're talking about voting yes to the independence, yes to the referendum, I can't vote myself. <laughs> I'm here to convince you to vote. You are my fellow Scotsman if you're unsure about what you vote. I try to register. I tried to register my vote, tried to do it because for some reason I haven't registered in my new house. I was registered in the house in the Athod, but I have to register for this house. And I done the full sign, sent it away. A couple of days later, the letter came back to me saying that it was the wrong address. Is it, uh, the address does not exist. By the time it was sent back, the date to register was over. I missed the date to register. and. This is because the online, the people online told me the wrong address. So please go out, please vote yes for me, since I can't do it. And go vote yes for yourself, if you're Scottish, you get a vote. Vote yes, because it's free, it's better for you. That's better together thing. No, it's better being Scotland, not being a pair of Great Britain, because we're no longer great. We're not Great Britain, it's no longer great. It's just Britain. It's just destroyed. And you know the saying, if it's, if it's fixed, like, if it's not broken, let's fix it. Now, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Well, it's broken, so it's time to fix it. And the Yes campaign, I believe, voting yes will fix the state we're in right now in Scotland. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Dean Glenelly. I've came here and ranted, my, ranted about voting yes, even though I can't vote it myself. But yes, I hope I convinced somebody, some of you to change their mind from the no to the yes. If you're unsure, to go vote yes. So thanks for tuning in. Comment down below what your thoughts on this independence is. Do you think we should vote yes? Do you think we should vote no? Don't argue. I'm not here to argue. I'm not going to argue back if you try and put a witty comment in or something to put in to just cause an argument. I will not argue back. But let me know why you think we should stay. No, be nice about it. So leave a thumbs up. Push that red button to subscribe. See videos I post every weekish now since I've now started a job. I'm finding it harder and harder to train the time to actually watch a film to review the film. So yes, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later. Cheers. Ta-da.